Welcome to the channel, I'm Amedio602, and today I'm going to show you how to use OBS Studio to game in 1440p at over 100Hz and still stream or record at 1080p 60Hz. I'm going to show you how to do this on a single PC setup and also with a dual PC setup. Let's start out with the motivation. Why would you want to do this? Well, in my case, this became a necessity when I decided to go from a single PC setup to a dual PC setup, and right around that time I upgraded my monitor to 1440p. Before I upgraded my monitor to 1440p, I was using an Elgato HD60S capture device, and this device only goes up to 1080p. I found lots of things that didn't work, including changing your NVIDIA settings to mirror to different resolutions, scale on the GPU, all sorts of fancy stuff, none of it worked for me. That was when I finally found a clever way to do this using just a couple of settings in OBS, and using this setup guide, I can have you up and running in less than a half an hour. For a single PC setup, you only need that single PC with OBS Studio installed. For a dual PC setup, you're also going to need a second PC that we are going to call the streaming PC, and you'll also need a video capture device. In my case, I'm using the Elgato HD60S. This is a great little external capture device, and I've got an Amazon affiliate link in the description down below. First, let's cover the single PC setup. Right-click anywhere that's open on your desktop, select Display Settings, select your gaming monitor, and then scroll down and check the output resolution. If your PC has multiple monitors that have different refresh rates, you're also going to want to select Make This My Main Display. The reason for this is that in Windows, the refresh rate is limited by whatever your main display is. Next, click on Advanced Display Settings and check the refresh rate. Next, open up the web browser of your choice and go to testufo.com. This web page should confirm that you are running at the selected refresh rate. Next, open OBS Studio and go to Settings. From Settings, you want to click on Video, and in here you want to set your Canvas resolution and your Scaled resolution to 1920 by 1080 Now begin setting up your scene. At a minimum, you're going to want to have your gaming monitor and audio output captured. When you add your gaming monitor, you're going to notice that the output of the gaming monitor is going to be way too big for this scene in OBS, and that's because we changed the output resolution to 1080. Go ahead and grab one of the corners of the screen and drag it until it fits into the OBS window. And for a single PC setup, that's really all there is to it. When you launch your game, you now should be getting your maximum refresh rate at 1440p. The dual PC setup is a little more complicated. Just like with the single PC setup, for the dual PC setup, you're going to want to have OBS Studio installed on both PCs. By the way, all of this should work with Streamlabs OBS as well. If you try it and find that it doesn't, please let me know in the comments down below. First, you want to connect your capture device to your streaming and your gaming PCs. In the case of the Elgato HD60S, you'll need to connect an HDMI cable from your gaming PC to the port labeled IN. The HDMI port labeled OUT doesn't need to have anything connected to it, and the supplied USB cable needs to be connected to the streaming PC. Once your gaming PC and your streaming PC are physically connected via your capture device, the real fun begins. First, we're going to go to the gaming PC, right-click any open area on the desktop and go to Display Settings. You should have an extra output corresponding to your video capture device. If you don't, then make sure that your capture device is receiving power and is properly connected. When you connect your video capture device, there's a good chance Windows will change your default sound output to that device. That's totally fine. If Windows does not change your default audio output to that device, then we want to go ahead and change that. Click on the speaker in the bottom right hand corner of the screen, click on the up arrow, and then select your video capture device. Next, start up OBS. Just like with the single PC setup, we're going to click on Settings and then Video. Change the Canvas Resolution and the Scaled Resolution to 1920 by 1080 After you've changed the video options, click on Audio. On the Audio pane, there is an option under Advanced called Monitoring Device. Set this monitoring device to your headset or your speakers, whatever you would like to use to listen to the audio. After you've done that, click OK, and then set up your scene. For a dual PC setup on the gaming PC, your scene should be very simplistic. You only need two things here. You need the audio output capture from your default device and the video input capture from your gaming monitor. Just like with the single PC setup, your gaming monitor's resolution is higher than your output resolution, so you need to scale the window down by dragging one of the handles in the corner. Next, right click on your audio output and select Advanced Audio Properties. In the Advanced Audio Properties dialog, change the audio monitoring to Monitor and Output for your audio output. Now right click anywhere in the OBS window and select Full Screen Projector Preview. That should open up a sub-menu with all the attached displays on your machine. Select the video capture device that you just installed. What we've just done is we've told OBS to capture the input of your monitor and redirect that to your video capture device in 1080p. And rather than just blindly changing settings, let me explain what we're doing here. Projector Output Mode only outputs video, it does not output audio. 
Because we're only outputting video and not audio, we've changed the default audio device in Windows to your capture device. That's going to send the audio straight to the capture device so that you can record both audio and video on the streaming PC. Unfortunately though, Windows only supports one audio device, so we're changing OBS to monitor that output and split it so that it goes both to the streaming PC and your headset. Don't worry if you didn't quite follow that explanation, as long as you set all the settings correctly, everything should still work. At this point on the gaming PC, there's just one more thing left to do in OBS Studio. Right click on the main preview and deselect enable preview. You don't strictly have to do this, but this is just one little performance hack you can do to minimize the impact that OBS has on your gaming system. Our last step on the gaming PC is to verify that the audio and video for our game are working properly. Launch your game of choice, and it should show up in 1440p at whatever refresh rate your monitor supports. And game audio should be coming through your preferred audio device that you've set up to monitor in OBS. And go ahead and leave the game running or play some music or something just so there's audio coming through your headset. OBS configuration on the gaming PC is complete, so now we're going to switch over to the streaming PC. Launch OBS on the streaming PC and set up your scene. This is where you'll want to add a webcam, a microphone, whatever else you want and you'll also want a video capture device input. If you've set everything up on the gaming PC correctly, then you should see the video capture device show up in the OBS preview window on your streaming PC. From the streaming PC, you should also be able to hear your game audio or your music or whatever you set up to play on the gaming PC. If everything's working correctly for you, then congratulations. You're now all set up to play your game of choice in 1440p and stream at 1080p. That means the only thing left for you to do is smash the like button on this video and subscribe to my channel for future updates. However, if you're having problems, then before you hit that like button, I want to get you up and running as quickly as possible. And I'm going to break this troubleshooting guide into two separate sections, one for audio, one for video. First, let's cover the video section. The first issue you might run into with the video is that the refresh rate on your gaming PC might go back to 60 hertz. If this happens to you, the first thing to check is the display properties window and make sure that your gaming monitor is set as your main display. You'll also want to make sure that the refresh rate is correctly set under the advanced display properties. If this doesn't work, then it's back to square one. You need to disconnect the video capture device and check testufo.com to make sure that your monitor is outputting the correct refresh rate. The second major issue you could run into with video is that the video is not being captured properly by the capture device, or it's just not showing up on the streaming PC. Nine times out of ten when this happens, it's because you've forgotten to enable the projector output mode in OBS on the gaming PC. So double check that. If you are indeed in projector mode, then check your video capture device to see if it has a dedicated HDMI output. If it has an HDMI output, connect it to another display and make sure that it's coming through properly. If it's not coming through properly, then you have a bigger problem with your video capture device. If it is coming through, then double check the streaming PC just to make sure that all the settings are set correctly. Next, we're going to cover a couple of potential audio issues. The first audio issue, and probably the most common, is that you won't be able to hear the audio in your headset from your gaming PC. If this happens to you, then just shut down OBS and start it back up. I found OBS is sometimes a little bit buggy when it comes to the audio output, and this usually fixes it. If you still can't hear the game in your headset, then double check your monitoring device is set to your headset, and that the advanced audio properties of your audio output is set to monitor and output. That should take care of any issues you might have listening to the audio from the gaming PC. If you're not getting the audio input on the streaming PC, then you need to check the Windows default system output device on the gaming PC. The default audio output device should be set to your video capture device. When we do this, that lets the audio flow freely through the HD60S, and we're using OBS to intercept that audio and split it out to your headset. Last but not least, let's cover a couple of audio issues specific to the Call of Duty series. I'm going to be using Call of Duty Warzone as an example. The first issue that you could see is that the game sound works great through your headset on the gaming PC, but that you're not hearing any voice chat. There are a couple of different ways around that, and that really depends if you want to capture voice chat on your capture device or not. If you do want to capture game chat, then make sure that the audio output is set to your default system device, and that should fix the problem for you. If you don't want to capture game chat, then set the setting in the game to use your default communication device. Next, we're going to go back to the Windows desktop, right-click on the speaker icon, and select Sounds. From the Sound dialog, you want to click on Playback. On the Playback tab, you want to right-click on your headset and select Set Default Communication Device. Then you want to click on the Recording tab and do the same thing. That should fix all the issues you could possibly have in game chat from your gaming PC. 
If you have any other issues getting a dual PC setup up and running with this guide, please let me know in the comments down below. And if you did manage to get one set up and running, or if you just found this guide helpful and informative, then I'd really appreciate it if you liked the video. If you want even more technical tips on setting up streaming and recording with Call of Duty, or if you're just looking to improve as a player, then subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on my future uploads. And as always, thank you very much for watching.